But the, the Bills had a player in Jordan Poyer who was not cleared to fly, and they drove him 15 hours yeah. back and forth to yeah. Kansas City to play in the game, and then he wasn't cleared to fly home, so they drove him back. Like It was a rib injury, too. How it was he even a head not injury. cleared to fly, but okay to drive and play in a football game? They play they're, football, but yeah. can't fly. We, That's well, funny. we marveled at this a couple years ago. Mort pointed out on Twitter that this happened with Deshaun Watson a few years ago, that he also wasn't cleared to fly because of the pressure. Well, if you have an internal injury like that with your ribs yeah. and your lungs, you're not cleared to fly. Take, take a game off. <laughs> but you can take a shot to the ribs on a tackle. No, but, I like that. If you can't fly, take the game off. I'm with Billy on that. Yeah, Billy, I like your perspective in general that lately, and I think this is with you, this is something that has made an appearance that you're giving voice to since having a child, where you have the proper perspective about sports. It's also going to run contrary to what fans want at almost every turn to have this proper <laughs> perspective that Jordan Poyer shouldn't. And you're right. If you have ribs problem, rib problems that don't allow you to fly, you shouldn't drive 15 hours to a game where you're playing violent football with ribs that don't work right. Big win, though, for the Bills, huh? Yeah. How about that? Massive. Yeah, that's going to mm. be yeah. big come January. Low scoring. Lower scoring than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a it shootout the whole up, way. Yeah, Still no, exciting. it definitely picked, picked out. Still yeah. exciting, though. That yeah, was, no, that no. It felt like a playoff-type oh. atmosphere. I, I just love it when you, you just see, certifiably, these are good teams, and they're just going at it. I'd like them to scrap the playoff format this year and just have the Chiefs and Bills play a best of three. Three Ooh. weeks. That would be great. First the, one to two wins the Super Bowl. The chess match. Yes. <laughs> Romo uh, said before the game he expected it to be low scoring about 24-20, which is what it ended up being <laughs> exactly 24-20. What? I did, I did uh, wonder, Amazing. all of you who are out there, and it's every single person listening to this right now, who was saying you've left too much time for Mahomes ah. at the end of that game. When the last time they played that situation left too much time for Mahomes and then Allen and then Mahomes again. All of the situations left too much time, but they went into Kansas City and they beat the Chiefs and the Bills are injured too, incidentally. And you got Josh Allen like hurdling, not like hurdling, hurdling. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> hurdling defensive backs while uh, while we're arguing roughing the passer and we're saying everybody get down and the rules are all different for the quarterbacks. You've got this centaur galloping around there like some sort of rodeo bull. <laughs> Who knew? I mean, <laughs> it's wild. Josh Allen has like two career fourth quarter comeback victories and they've been this season, the Ravens and, and that game. It, there's a lot of funny stats like that. Like Patrick Mahomes on Monday night, it was his largest comeback in the regular season ever because we've seen what they've done in the postseason. We just expect these guys are awesome. How is that the case? But they're usually ahead. It was actually really great to see. If you want the circumstantial Twitter doctor evidence of somebody that shouldn't have been out there, it was Isaiah McKenzie, who even Jim Nance said, wow, he is playing terribly. That is a terrible, nightmarish first half from Isaiah McKenzie. He looked lost out there. Can I ask you guys, who's third place? You want to start a team right now, and you want to feel good about your chances. Is there a third place on quarterback you want, galloping, throwing the ball sidearm, uh, throwing the ball on the run. Uh, is there a third place to Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes? Bailey Zappi. Herbert, damn. To a Geno Smith. Herbert, we're still doing with Trubisky. that guy? Yes, it's still Herbert. Oh, please. I don't like watching Kyler Murray. Enough of Herbert. I don't like watching the Arizona Cardinals. They're broken, by the way. I hate watching them. They're like they're 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 at that Broncos class who we get to watch again tonight. Bad on coaching Monday Night football. Oh. Just hate watching their offense. Why? Why are they on primetime every weekend? Russell you can't Wilson escape them. Yeah, I uh, did. I'd say Joe Burrow to answer your question. That would be the third guy. Oh, I don't think so. Not, I think not, not the sidearm stuff, the galloping recklessness where you're like, that used to be something that I'd never want my quarterback doing, but I allow these two guys to do it. But you're asking to start a franchise today. The obvious two are Allen and Mahomes. After that, I mean. But I wasn't just asking Herbert. Maybe you. Jalen Hurts. It's Herbert. Did you watch what Sean Payton said? If the Cowboys or Chargers job becomes available, I'd be interested. The Chargers job. <laughs> <laughs> like Brandon Brandon Staley's in his second season. What are you talking about? That's, that's, that's yeah. very faux pas, right? Know. You're not supposed yeah. to be campaigning for other guys' jobs as a former coach, right? You're supposed to be like, well, I don't do any of that. You know, those guys are doing a great job. Even when you know, like, oh, man, give me that guy. 
I'll be amazing. But you, the, the you, you just got to let him know, though. I mean, you have to let him know. Yeah, okay? You, you got to float it behind behind closed doors, those two guys. You can't say it out loud yeah. because that's that's because of the quarterback, the though, pump. because of the quarterback, he might as well leak out that he'd be interested in the Chiefs job if it if it became available. Like Cowboys, I understand. I mean, I mean no one has respect for Mike McCarthy placeholding. It's just like no one respects him. We all understand. Yeah, you can publicly gun for his job. But the Chargers being out there, that just seems overly mean. McCarthy's won a Super Bowl. What are we doing here? Staley has done nothing. Yeah, exactly. Staley, Staley needs to start year? figuring it out or he's going to exactly. be in the hot seat soon. Yep. With all this praise that Herbert's constantly getting, if they keep losing with Staley, like the cute, like, let's go for it on fourth and 47 is going to run out <laughs> very quickly. Maybe it is a Herbert thing, right? Because we always talk about his coaches. Crystal Ball couldn't get the most out of Herbert in Oregon. All of a sudden, Brandon Staley can't get the most out of him in, in L.A. Like, sucks, what, if it's jo- what if it's Herbert? 